Okay, everybody, so this is a video I really didn't want to make. There's a problem with the 954. I may have actually bought a lemon, and it's pretty sad because when you look at it, it's such a clean example of a 954. There's some issues with this bike that I overlooked when inspecting the bike, and some of it's my fault, some of it's not my fault. But if I can redirect your attention over here, right here on the motor, there's actually a sticker. Pretty sure that this engine was replaced at some time, and that's what that means. Also, another thing I did not really notice was that these bolts are empty. I know I knew it didn't have frame sliders, but it doesn't even have these bolts, so I gotta get these bolts with new frame sliders because um, the engine right now is not being held up by anything. The guy I bought it from, I don't know if he knew these things or if he didn't. He only had the bike for a short amount of time. I think he was just trying to flip it. It is kind of one of those things where I hope he didn't know. Seemed like a nice guy, but you, you never know when you're buying something used. A couple other issues too. These are not the original foot pegs. I didn't know that at the time. They looked, they looked right, but that's probably off of like an F4I or something. I can get new ones though to be the, the original. But that's, again, that's like a, such a small thing. I don't even care about that. I think it was actually replaced because of a comfort reason. Because whoever owned this bike, they cared about comfort. They put a Corbin seat and they probably wanted a dampen foot peg. So I might even leave that because I don't really mind the look of it. But my friend came over and I went to show him the bike. And an issue immediately occurred. If I go over here. So that noise is the, uh, those LED lights. But look, it's not, it says it's not a neutral. But yet, the bike is a neutral. It won't even crank because the kickstand is saying, no, don't crank. <laughs> so the neutral switch or something with the neutral light is not working. It's It kind of sucks because it was working when I looked at the bike and now it's not. So I don't know what happened. The bike was completely good when I went to see it. It ran great. It did everything fine. But the issue started occurring pretty soon after I got home. I mean, I've not ridden the bike or anything like that. Just a quick little test ride. So that kind of sucks that the neutral switch was broken, but that's not a huge deal. I can, the uh, the switch just goes up in here. It's pretty easy to get to. I can do it. Luckily with these 954s, I actually, because of my $500 954 project, I have a good amount of experience working on these. So I know where things are, but it just stinks to know that I have to deal with this on a bike that I paid a pretty decent premium for. Uh, I paid $3,900 for it. I mean, I got a good deal, but I mean, I paid enough money where I feel like I shouldn't have to deal with those kinds of issues. But all of that's pretty minor compared to what I'm about to show you. And uh, don't worry about this. This I actually removed this just because I wanted to see what was in there. So don't worry about that. Oh, by the way, he had like some sort of weird, I don't know, clamp in there because he had there was no walnut there. So I ordered some walnuts to repay to replace that one. But if you look over here at the motor. And it looks pretty clean because I actually wiped it, but there was some oil leaking out from here. Actually, it looks, it kind of still looks a little wet, um, but there was some oil leaking down right here. And it's actually, it was leaking kind of on the exhaust a little bit. And that's a, uh, that's a valve cover gasket. Again, it might just be, it wasn't torqued down correctly or something. I don't know, but I got to dive into it and figure out what that leak is. And um, that just stinks because not only if, I don't know if he knew about it and he wiped it off. I mean, maybe he did. Because when I looked, I was like, yeah, the motor looks good. It looked just like this. Like, if you looked under here, there's no evidence of an oil leak. Um, there might be some now because it was leaking. But before, there was no evidence of any oil leak. And yeah, I even ran the bike and I didn't see any oil leaking. But sometimes things happen. You got to run them longer. And I, I just kind of got burnt on that, which sucks so much. So now I got to take off the tank and the air box and I got to inspect this gasket. I might even just have to replace it, but that stinks. So now I got to do not motor work, but in a sense, I do got to do some motor work. I did order one of these clutch covers or uh, stator covers a while ago. Um, right when I bought the bike, I ordered it because it was rashed up. I just wanted the bike to be mint. So when I pop this off, I'm going to look in there because I don't know what happened, but when the bike was running, it might have been the exhaust, but something was rattling and it sounded like it was on this side. So I don't know if it's, it actually might be that rattle that I hear right now. I'm hoping that's all it was, but I started hearing a rattling that I didn't hear before. 
and uh, it sounded like it was getting louder, but I don't know. I, once I even like heard a little bit of it, I immediately shut the bike down because I was like, nope, <laughs> not playing games. Oh, another thing too, the uh, the front brake locked up on me a little bit when I was trying to get it out of the uh, get it out of the trailer there. And it's like, well, what's going on with that? <laughs> so now I got to take apart the brakes and clean the pins and stuff like that. So it's like, it's like one of those things, guys. It's a, a good reminder that even when you look at a bike and it's super clean and everything appears to work, there can be things underneath the surface you don't know about. I'm still happy I got it. I just wish I saw those things or knew about those things beforehand because I really should have gotten a better price because I have to deal with all of this. But it is what it is. I can do it. This is, you know, this is my forte. I take apart and I fix bikes. So why should this be any exception? It just, I was really hoping this would just be kind of like the bike I just rolled out in the summertime and just fired it up and started putting miles on it. But it's it's definitely not going to be the case. I'm going to have to go through quite a bit. But it's still a very clean bike and I'm overall still happy I have it. It's not the worst thing to have happen, but there is a chance like if... If that rattling sound was coming from the motor, that's where I'm going to take off this uh, this case right here, and I'm going to inspect the uh, all the bolts, make sure nothing's backing out because I did hear like a like a clicking or some sort of noise, and I have heard that on bikes before, where basically if you pop this case off, one of the bolts had backed out, and you just have to take it out, put some uh, lock thread on it, and then torque it back down that happens. Um, and I'm hoping that's all it was, or maybe it was a rattle from the exhaust. Again, I could probably start up right now and figure out exactly what's happening, but I'm going to wait because I, I'm going to drain the oil, make sure there's no metal shavings in there. I'm going to pop the cases off, make sure everything's tightened down correctly. I'm going to figure out what's going on with that head gas or the uh, valve gasket. And then once all of that's done, I mean, I might as well check out the spark plugs, and I guess I got to take the valve cover off anyway, so I might as well do a pair delete. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. It, it just stinks, and I want this video to kind of be a lesson for you guys if you're going to look at bikes, especially because the new riding season's coming in a few months, and a lot of you might be looking at motorcycles. So just be very careful of what you buy. Be Ask a lot of questions. Take it for a long test ride if you can. And also, I'm not sure if they splice these connections. I hope not, but I'm thinking about downgrading this from an LEDs to uh, just going right back to stock halogen. Yeah, like th that drives me nuts already. It I guess it just goes to show that even people like me who claim to be pretty experienced with things like that they even i make mistakes i'm gonna choose to be optimistic about it i'm just gonna have to go through it and maybe this is a good thing anyway maybe this is a blessing in disguise because maybe i needed to go through it to make sure that everything was good because i can't just take a used bike that i bought off somebody on facebook marketplace and roll around the streets doing 100 miles an hour on because what if a bolt's loose what if something's broken like you gotta know these things so it's almost a good thing i'm taking it apart and going through it because everything will be 100 percent once i do that but man it just sucks <laughs> it sucks so bad i just hope the motor's good please god please god make sure the motor's good but anyway guys if you have a lot of experience with these 954s uh make sure you uh subscribe because Actually, please subscribe because it would be nice for uh, some fellow mechanics to help me out along this process. I don't know what this bike's going to need. I don't know exactly what I'm going to have to do, but something's going to have to happen. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty nervous. I've never owned a bike with an issue like this before. And I'm just hoping it's nothing and I can fix it up and have a very happy summer with it. But this is definitely like a little bit of buyer's remorse. <laughs> I mean, if going back and knowing what I know now... I, I still would have considered purchasing the bike, but I would have offered like three grand instead of 3,900. So I might have lost 900 bucks, but it is what it is. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you so much for making it this far in this video. I still really like this bike. I still really want to ride it. Um, this is one of my favorite bikes of all time. And uh, yeah, so I definitely want it. And if it's something, an issue with this one, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to get it going. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you all have a good one. Take care. Stay safe out there. And uh, make sure you inspect your bikes very well. Take care. Bye-bye.